I'll just give it a moment. Okay. So let people realize it's in things and join. Uh, hello everyone, welcome back to BSM Cold Open Cup. Uh, today I'm your host, Paper, and I'm joined by Block Party. Hi there! So today's round of 64, we have Team Skill Ceiling, Hits Kandahar, and Hanafuda No Ronin. Personally, I think this is going to be a very interesting match. Definitely something we're all excited to see. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, uh, Skill Floor definitely seems to be more Ellen orientated as a team. Hanafuda more race focused, so it's definitely got the dynamic. So this is definitely going to be something to see. Now we take a look at our map pool. Definitely an interesting variety of songs. Definitely some of my favorites in there. Mm, although a lot of these have quite low object talent, so accuracy is something you're really going to want to keep up. Oh, definitely. One miss could definitely cost the entire match, but it really depends on how our teams play out today. Let's hope nerves don't affect them too much, and they get good scores. Looks like they're going over bands and protects right now, and I'm actually very interested in seeing what their picks are. So I definitely think for skill floor, they may want a little uh, this long note map. Uh, I'm not sure about Hanafuda. It did seem quite balanced, so slight race orientation. So, for their best interest, they should ban some long note maps. Definitely, I would have to agree with that. Looks like the captain is just looking over the map pool. And they're banning race 5. There goes Wow. Mignolo. Rest in peace. M2U is actually one of my favorite artists. But they banned it and that map is going to go. I'm surprised they didn't ban Strange Inventor though. That map is very awkward. Oh, I can tell. I can definitely tell. So we have to go through protects before we can ban. So I think that means Hanafuda get first protect. I'm really wondering what they're going to choose. There's actually very variety of choices here, but it's all down to mostly what, how much of a good accuracy they can pull off today. As you said, accuracy is very important, especially for today. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, they're protecting race two, arcade busters. Ooh. Ooh, by seismic, that is definitely a decent choice. One point zero five rate. And they're asking Hanafudo for their protect. Let's see what they choose. Manuel not realizing the warm-ups have already finished. That is just sad. But... Uh, as you see, dead. they got stared at. They got yeah. stared at by our lovely referee. Mm -hmm. uh, Hanafuda did not have a warm-up today. That could be a big disadvantage. Warming up is one of the key things of getting ready for a tournament. And without that key setting up, you're definitely going to be put at a disadvantage. Especially if you were laying off a BOSU for a few days. Rust is a very hard thing to get over, especially for a lot of players like myself. The so warm-ups are a key to get ahead in the game. Oh, and 
It's actually an LN3 ban coming from Skill 4. Well, it's and not that's very confident on that map. Gone. And it looks like Hadafudo going straight for their first pick. Take the race one. Oh. The banjo is showing the message. Map by Phoenix and on the 4K hard difficulty in a length of not. It's barely two minutes. This is definitely going to take count into accuracy a lot. So they have to get those ac uh, accuracy points in if they want to pull this off. With the star rating of 3.15 and the BPM of 198, I can tell this is definitely going to be a very interesting first pick. What do you think? Yeah, it could go either way, although I think Skill Floor do have a slight advantage here too, just having higher ranks overall. Although, it, in obvious cases, ranks aren't everything here, so I'd love to be proven wrong. Definitely, there have been cases of, fi of five digits just roaring over the maps. It looks like we're starting now. We're off to a very good start, but everybody has broken their SS rank, so this could go either way. Early accuracy advantage from Skill Floor. Any mess ups here, any slope ups, even the slightest one could put it either way. Yeah, right now it's very close, and it can either be very close to the very end or be a complete sweep. It just all depends on how well you hit those notes. Like, while Diego is currently falling behind with the 99%, if you can only oh. at 99.4, at the real with 99.6, and Z, um, and Zuzu, and we're, and we're already wow. past the half point of the map. And I don't think anybody's broken combo yet. That's really good. That's really surprising. That's amazing. Mm. A four-way FC on the first map. But it all could change with just one miss. This is a very close match. And one miss from the red team could change over the win to the blue team. I did see a few tundras coming from Pokemon there. They're actually dropping quite a lot there. And just like that. It's over. And the red Ooh. team takes it home with their excellent accuracy. Well, Diego barely missing out any 99% there. Look at that. See. Oh, only one great. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. While well, both people on the blue team got 11 greats, people on the red team got a combined great count of six. That is astounding, especially for the first map, but it's a low three star and it will only get harder from here. It's now over to Guildfloor's pick. Let's see what they choose. I'm actually really interested in this. 
I'm definitely interested in seeing if they can turn the score around before they end up in a very awful position, point-wise. Is there a bench moment, or they are taking their time to really think this over? Yeah, I can definitely tell. The fact that the red team have a, had a lower rate count than one of their members probably got to them. So they're taking their time with this decision. It could grant them a point. It could grant Team Red another point. After all, choosing a map, especially after you just lost, I mean, it was pretty close for almost the whole map, and nobody had a single miss, but that was just the first map. Looks like they're down to 60 seconds to pick a map. They must be really thinking hard about this. Mm. They have chosen RC2. That is such an interesting choice. I can't wait to see what will happen. Hmm. They're quite late there to pick their map. Yeah, definitely. They either didn't know what to choose or have some type of plan. And I can't wait to see which one it is. They could come out on top and even the score. Or Team Red can, can take the second point. And with the star rating of not even three stars in not even two minutes, I definitely wonder how this is going to play out. Because I can tell accuracy will be the defining factor of who will win. Absolutely, and if it's anything like the first match, first uh, the first map, it seems like it could go to skill four, but again, any slope ups, and it could have gone to Hanafuda. Definitely. Doesn't look like any of the players are going to swap out. I'm going to keep the same players. Oh, really? Oh, Guao actually has left. Oh! I wonder what their plan is. And looks like a new player has come onto the field. Money this must be a part food. of their plan. I actually can't wait to see how this player plays. I can definitely tell that probably a lot of pressure would be onto them. But this could go either way. It is quite an easy map. Fairly good BPM. And not even two minutes. Just like that, we're getting things set up, and the map is starting. I believe this is the more focused pick. Waiting for Benchel to catch up again. Three cheers for Benchel bot, everybody. Just like that, we are starting off strong, with Team Red barely having a lead, but this could turn over to Team Blue's favor in just a matter of seconds. Money will having a bit of a rough start with their accuracy, paying a few 200s early on, but the ratio does seem to be holding up quite well now. And with Moni with a low 99%, I can definitely tell that will affect their score. 
while the other two on Team Red definitely have higher 99%. Either Damon holding a very strong 1981 and Ulizazoin being slightly behind with the 99.7. You, you can tell. You can tell all these players are strong. It's a fairly easy map, but nobody has broken combo just yet. But that can all change. As we're nearing the end, the last few points are going to be very important. But from what I can tell, this could be in Team Red's favor. Was this going here? 200. Not really affecting their accuracy too much, though. And barely scraping with 2 million, Team Red once again takes another point. Oh my! That is a double S from the Real Demon. That is amazing. I can definitely tell we have some very strong players, but moaning with that 98%, that definitely affected their score. And with that okay as well. The next team that's up for choosing is going to have to be very careful about what they choose. Because Red is now up to two, and Hanafuda has no points. No points whatsoever. If Skull Floor win this one, it is a guaranteed tiebreaker if Anafuda then gets three wins themselves. It could be a tiebreaker, or it could be that Team Red takes the cake. We don't know for certain. It all comes down on what they choose and what players they swap in. Knowing that they swapped in a player, round two, there's definitely going to be some interesting strategy that play today. And I've got to take some time to discuss about one that they're also going to pick. This must be really hitting hard for them. And they have chosen RC3. Wow. Ooh, it's a regular jump stream with some bursts in the middle of it. The jump streams are always fun to play. Well, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. So far, it seems like they're just working their way through all the picks, going from race one. That's definitely a good way of going about things. With a map exactly two minutes and having a star rating of 2.68, this could be another accuracy deciding map. They just have to get in those perfects in. You can't afford to have any, any rate above the other team. From what we saw, one okay basically decided everything, as it dropped the first player down to 98%, and that's what ultimately decided the map. And that's us starting the map. Oh, I can't wait to see this. So either be Hanafuda's first point, or break point, and match point, for skill floor. Hopefully Hanafuda can turn this around, and have a chance at, at winning this. Because getting a match point for the other team, while not having points for your own team, can definitely be a hit in the gut. But they could turn this around. There's always a chance to. Again, an early lead from Team Red. You can definitely tell accuracy is very good across the board. Besides, besides that. Besides that one member having below 99.50, I can definitely see this is going to be close once again. The skill floor actually brought in Chrissy 
It is holding incredibly high accuracy of 99.85. That is amazing. And the map is about three fourths of the way done, and their red team has hit 1.5 million. And as you can see, both of the blue teams have dropped below 99.50, while people of the red team are still keeping up with that high 99%. I can definitely tell this may be another win for the red team and match point. And just like that is over, and Red Team takes another win. And with an SS from Diamond, then both of them got SSs. That's amazing. Three players with the V1 double S. That is amazing. But with nine greats and one OK, that was ultimately what decided the match. But good plays across the board. Fantastic, and I can't wait to see who, what will be chosen. This could either give Red Team the victory, or Hanafuda could make a comeback, and maybe in a, a tiebreaker could be initiated. Hanafuda will have to win the next three maps if he wants to try and get the tiebreaker here. That is a difficult feat, but not impossible. There has been several cases of that happening. And this could happen right here in front of our eyes. Let's go for taking some time to choose their map again. This could be an easy win for them, or they could have underestimated their opponent with their map choosing and give them the win. And they can finally maybe come back. And they have chosen their map. Oh, and they're picking one note two. Melty sweets. I definitely love the sound of this. This could either be the deciding factor or or progress towards a tiebreaker. And with a below just below two minutes. And the star rating of 2.22. Nice. They initiate the possibly final match of the game. If Team Red manages to pull this off one last time, they'll get a complete sweep on the board. There doesn't seem to be any team switches coming in. I can definitely tell that both teams are nervous here. Team Red could take home the win, or Hanafuda could turn this right around. And just like that, we are starting. This map is very important. Hanafuda want to stay in any longer than. They are going to need to win this. And the next two maps as well, as well as a potential tiebreaker. And as you can see, good accuracy across the board. But well, a member of the blue team has dropped to 99.50. This could be bad for them. The magazine drop from Money Wow. Well, it looks like Money Wow is at a very low 99%, while both members of the blue team are keeping up that very high accuracy. And it's definitely a close score. If they're going up and down, this could be a very interesting match. And we're already at the halfway point. And it's, as always, in Team Red's favor. Percy still holding on to 19.8. That is astounding. 
if Team Blue wants to to make a comeback, they have to turn this around in the last few seconds of the match. As we're just getting close to the three fourths point. With both teams being 1.5 million, 1.6, and then soon 1.7. I can definitely tell that Team Red could win this. Team Blue just doesn't have enough time to pull it back around. With an advantage of 20,000 points, there isn't much they can do. But I can definitely tell they tried their hardest. There's FCs across the board. They all did wonderful. And with that, we have our winner. Both, both members of Team Red having an SS. And just like that, Team Red takes home the victory. What an amazing match, especially from both sides. Because we have so many SSs today, but they were fairly easy maps. And as we get into the tournament, things will definitely get harder. And I'm just waiting to see how hard they can pull it off. But definitely, good plays from both teams. Definitely, well done. Now that is a win for Skill Floor. They are continuing in the winner's bracket, but for Hanafuda, they are not out yet. They are going down to the loser's bracket. They have yet another chance to try and claw their way back up bomb to win. And I'm definitely interested in what both key teams can do in their separate brackets. Hanafuda could definitely make a comeback and possibly make it farther into the game. Skill floor can also can also sweep the competition. Just the accuracy was amazing. I was even astonished a bit. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I think our next match is in a couple hours. So it's definitely see. going to be an interesting next match. We hope to see you all there and have a wonderful December. We can't wait to see this next match. Yep, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you have a good time. So long!